Hi and well welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet. We're still working on the Automation Studio course and the Classic Control course. In today's video, we will create a practical circuit which is linking outdoor lighting system with photocell sensor. At morning, with sufficient amount of light, no signal will be sent to the lighting system. But at night, photocell sensor will detect the low amount of light and will send a signal to make the lighting system work. So please consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Here, let's start creating our circuit by creating the power circuit. Here from power, let's choose energy sources. And here our system is working on a three phase and a neutral because our lighting system is huge. So every line with a neutral has a 220 volt, which will be connected to a specific circuit, lighting circuit. So let's choose now from protection a four pole circuit breaker. This is our circuit breaker three pole with a neutral. Let's drag and drop it here. And also we need from contactor poles a four pole contactor. So this is a four pole normally open contactor. Let's drag and drop it here. And we will connect it in the future with a coil. Of course, we can change the number of poles from here. We can add or delete poles, but we need it for a three pole and a neutral. Perfect. Now let's create our lighting system. Here from control, I will choose a signaling devices. Let's drag here lamp from transformation, rotate it left. Let's copy it. And this is, for example, our first circuit. So L1 and the neutral will be connected to this circuit. Let's copy those three lamps and put it them here. And this will be the second circuit, which is related to L2 and neutral. And copy it again and connect it to L3 and neutral. And this is our third circuit. Now let's connect our circuit from power lines. Let's connect the three power lines, L1 and L2 and L3. And wa another wire for the neutral. And let's now connect lamps together from one end and then connect it to the neutral. So this is connection for the neutral. It's connected from here to the neutral. Third one to the neutral. Now let's connect our first circuit with L number one. And L two to the second circuit. L three to the third circuit. And this is our power circuit. As you can see, we have a three phase and a neutral, which is connected to a three circuits. L1 and neutral for the first circuit, L2 and a neutral for the second circuit, L3 and a neutral for the third circuit. Now, we want to make this contactor to be working when there is a low amount of light at night. So, we have to create a control circuit. Now, let's bring from power, energy sources, single phase, 
a single phase source line and the neutron let's go now to control and protection and from protection i will choose a normally open circuit breaker one pole this is our circuit breaker now i will bring a selector to choose from manual and automatic so when i choose manual this circuit will be working immediately but when i choose automatic this circuit will be related to the photo cell detector so from multi position switches i will choose this rotary switch to positions so let's drag and drop it here right click on it and let's make a transformation horizontal flip and perfect now we have a manual and automatic selections here let's choose a contactor coil and this contactor coil let's put it here drag and drop it here and this contactor coil will be linking to this contactor so double click on it and choose kf1 now let's connect our first circuit which is the manual selection so here as you can see if we connect it on manual selection and the neutral here will be connected to as you can see if we simulate our circuit and we choose to be working on this manual selection let's close the circuit breaker first and as you can see the lighting system is working because i have chosen the manual selection which is directly linking to the coil of the contactor but if i choose the other selection which is the automatic which is related to the photo cell it will stop working i want now to create the photo cell circuit but first now i will choose this multi position sensor to have three positions not two because i want one position to be manual and one to be automatic and one to be off so here from multi position switches let's choose a rotary switch with three positions let's put it here from transformation let's choose horizontal flip let's delete this wire and let's reconnect our circuit now let's create our photo cell sensor i can choose it from here from sensors light and this is our photo resistor ldr which means lighting dependent resistor so it's a variable resistor that changes its resistance depending on the light the amount of light but here actually i want to simulate the circuit so this will not be working fine here in this application so i will create it manually so that we can simulate the circuit so i will choose a variable resistor from here passive and active components resistors and this is our variable resistance let's drag and drop it here right click on it and from transformation let's rotate it perfect this is our resistance also we will bring a relay this relay is also inside the photo cell sensor any practical photo cell sensor has three wires one for the line and one for the neutral and one for the output for the load and inside this for photo cell sensor we have a variable resistor ldr and the contactor so here from relay coils i will bring a relay coil And from relay contacts, let's bring a one pole normally closed contact and let's link it to the relay KF2. 
press OK and very good. So as you can see, this is a photo cell sensor from inside. It has an LDR and a relay and a normally closed contact from that relay. Let's now make a border lines for our sensor. I want to make it look better. Let's choose another line and let's create it here. Choose another line. And at last, let's connect our last line. Let's remark those lines. And from edit, I can make it a little bit bigger. So this is our photo cell sensor. Let's now connect our circuit. Here from home, power wires, single wire. Let's connect the power that is coming from the automatic selector. Let's connect it here to the variable resistor and also to the normally closed contact that is related to the contactor. And here from the output of this variable resistor, I will connect it to the contactor or the relay, the coil of the relay. And here, this second terminal of the relay, I will connect it to the neutral. And here, the second contact from the normally closed contact, I will connect it to the KF1. So as you can see, this is our photo cell sensor, which has three wires. One wire, which will be the line, and the second wire, which is called the neutral and the third wire which is called the load or the output so now we connect it to this one to the line and this one to the neutral and this one to the output which is here the coil of the contactor so now as you can see i have added some texts from this button this is a photo cell sensor which have three lines or three wires one is called line which is connected to the line power this is connected to the neutral and this one is connected to the load and this is our selector which is manual and automatic let's double click on it to make the default position on zero from builder let's choose positions and let's choose the default position to be on zero. So as you can see, now our default position is zero. This is our control circuit and this is our power circuit. Before we simulate our circuit, let's change the value of the variable resistor. I will make it here 100 kilo ohm. Now let's simulate our circuit. And as you can see, if we close those two circuit breakers, we're still on the zero position. Okay. So nothing will happen here to the lighting system, outdoor lighting system or the street lighting system. Because this contactor is not working. But what if we choose the manual selection? This will directly make the contactor to work. So the lighting will be working fine. If we return back to the zero, nothing will happen. But now if we choose this automatic selection, this depending on the value of the variable resistor. Now inside the automatic selection, here the variable resistor is very high now, as you can see, it's 100% from its value, which means that there is low amount of light because this LDR increases, the resistance increases when the light is low. And when the light has a huge amount, this value will be very low. As you can see, when the value of the resistance is very low now, this circuit has been opened. Why? Because there is no voltage drop now here. So this is considered as a short circuit. So the power will be inside this coil of the relay. 
which will make this normally closed contact to be open this relay has been activated but when we increase the value of this uh, resistance or variable resistance which means that there is no amount low amount of light at night this will make this variable resistance to make a huge voltage drop so the voltage here is very low now which will not activate this relay so this normally closed contact will be still closed and this will make this coil of a contactor to be working so let's say that we are at morning now so the resistance is very low this will make the circuit to be opened again that's it for our photo cell sensor and street lighting please consider subscribing to electrical engineering planet channel to support our community also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching